Uh, since moving to Alberta, I haven't got a tripod anymore, so I'm going to try and make one using household materials, using uh, everything here and everything here. So follow me and let's see how this turns out. So the first thing is we actually need to have a tripod mount. I do have one and I know that the hole within here is a quarter inch, so we need a quarter inch screw. And I have a bunch over here, these ones here. So as you can see, a quarter thread, it fits directly into one. So that's perfect. So what we need to do now is grab a drill part, a quarter inch one. I have one because I'm efficient. To do that, we're going to need some wood. So here I have, this here is going to be my, so I don't drill through the table. This is going to be the actual top mount. So with the initial wood in place, we can actually drill a tiny hole at the top. Oh, this is a lot thicker than I thought. Perfect hole. Just took a bit longer than I thought. So with the hole drill, we can see now that this should fit perfectly within. Ah, there we go. And then with that, we can just... And there you go. That is a rudimentary tripod stand. Obviously, it's just a plank of wood, but we can change that. Now, because I don't have a tripod, it's mounted on a wall again. Sorry. But it's as easy as that. And then you get a nice piece of wood. Once again, we'll send these edges down later. So now we have a manageable piece of wood now with a quarter inch hole in. But I just noticed an issue now. This fits in perfectly, but this. This will never be able to lay flat. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drill a hole a little bit bigger than this. So then this can be sunk into the wood. So now what you can see is that screw is now flush within there. And then once again, when we screw this into the base, it's going to pop out a little bit now, but then we can fix that with washers. There we go. That is now flat on the base. It stays on there. It has a bit of swivel room. So I'm going to add some hooks here. And what this will do is allow me to hang it instead of just constantly being on the ground as a traditional tripod. Okay, so I put these on, but I've just realized I've made a massive mistake. How the hell is the camera going to hang off if it's hanging on something on this side? So then I was like, I can unswivel this, pop this out, bang it on the other way, cover the massive hole, which I did. And the funny thing is, it's this tight on this side, it actually tightens up fully. And then, then you can hang it on things like that. It makes a lot more sense now, and it's actually at a slight angle as well, which I prefer. So, yeah, I've accidentally made my thing better than I thought I could. Perfect. Let's do a run a montage of how well this thing hangs off things. Hang it off a tool rack. Hang it on your perfectly shaped hooks. It fits perfectly. It's almost like it was designed that way. You got a chair. I can hang it from a chair. You want lawnmower action shots. You have lawnmower action shots. Hang it from a door. Pop it on the floor. Well, I've got to say, this mono hanging pod wasn't too bad of an idea. So I thank you for watching my handicraft. How the hell did I make this project? Stay tuned for more. Who knows what I'll make next?